Good evening everyone, time for another silver update. And this is the five minute chart of silver provided by netdania.com. You can click on the link below. Now we are plumbing the depths, we're testing the lows. In silver you can see we're down below 2050. That is support. I'll show you on the line uh, when we look at the trend line. But uh, you can see here we've got 30,000 and 30,000 you pull out we're talking roughly 60 to 70,000 or 300 to 350 million ounces of silver dumped in a single day and of course that's not real silver it's counterfeit silver and it's a silver conspiracy now just for comparison purposes the big big story of the day of course is the Bitcoin you can see the Bitcoin ran to nine hundred dollars a coin and uh, corrected back down below six hundred is now around 750 but uh, what is of interest here is the volume you can see that these were on uh, three four five thousand volume ticks here that move this market that much now we know that uh, there are about 10 million or so bitcoins out there so we're talking about a very very tiny percentage compared to the amount of bitcoins that are out there whereas when we look at silver we have very very large we know when we go out to the long view here that we have 10 million contracts we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times the volume of silver that really exists and so I'll put this trend line in here you can see that we are below it and we are now going to test to see how how much lower we go we're right around here in, in support so the big question is how is it possible that silver can be sold in such incredible volumes and have uh, such a smackdown in price whereas Bitcoin can have these incredible rallies on very very low volume and of course the answer is there are no Bitcoin derivatives now if you follow the Bitcoin blog that I have in my Bitcoin videos I've gone into the past and we go into exposing those people who would love to make derivatives based on the Bitcoin. There's all kind of investment funds. They want you to invest in their funds. They want to create a pyramid scheme based on the Bitcoin. But most of the people who have confidence in the Bitcoin are buying Bitcoins. So they're not buying derivatives of Bitcoin. So it's very difficult to sell short the Bitcoin. We know the Chinese are buying them up and uh, the Chinese aren't going to buy a derivative. They're going to buy real Bitcoins. So that's the big difference Silver is suppressed using derivatives, paper derivatives, fake silver. And that's because there is a conspiracy against silver. Now, this is the latest Charles Savoy that he sent me. Another excellent one. Uh, Charles Savoy is pretty much blacklisted in the silver community. And uh, that's because he talks about the conspiracy. Now, let's look into the conspiracy here. He mentions Ron Paul a little bit. But... Uh, there's a lot of voices out there who'd like to convince us that there isn't a conspiracy. So Charles goes into that. I'm going to read the history of it. Is it credible to hold that the monetary trend in the United States, England, and Europe using, for example, a typical starting date, the crime of 73, in which Congress wrecked most of the purchasing power of silver, and proceeding forward in many other adverse events, including the Panic of 1893, the Panic of 1907, the National Monetary Commission of 1908, the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, England causing the Great Depression by dumping Indian silver on world markets starting in 1928, President Hoover refusing to call a World Silver Conference unless England took the lead, Britain exiting the gold standard in September 1931, chaired by J.P. Morgan Jr., Franklin Roosevelt seizing gold from Americans in 1933 and seizing silver in 1934, the World Economic Conference of 1933 in London, allowing England to continue dumping tens of millions of ounces of silver out of British India for another four years, 
the Silver Purchase Act of 1934, which with its good effects also had the intended terrible effect of derailing China off its centuries-old silver standard, Limitation Order L-208, in 1942, which ordered shutdown of USA gold mines for 33 months. Bretton Woods Conference in 1944, completely ignoring silver, silver leasing being pioneered during World War II. The Silver Users Association being formed in 1947, the entity to which the mega bankers have dumped silver down into as a black hole at throwaway rates, the decades long imposition of fixed federal price capping on domestic silver, finally reasserting itself as $1.61 per ounce silver during the Nixon years, a substantial price trim back from the Treasury silver auctions that ended in late 1970 to the Silver Users. Treasury sales of silver to industrial users ramping up during the Truman and Eisenhower administrations. New York bankers, silver users, Congress, and the federal officials achieving an end to 90% silver coins in 1965. The comic smash of the hunts in 1980. The ultra-secretive silver leasing activities of the 1980s and beyond. All that and very, very much more has happened due to incompetence. A federal court in Manhattan blocks silver, the CFTC blocks silver, the NYMEX Institute's multiple margin increases as silver was falling in the spring of 2011. The number of members of both houses of Congress who we might not get denial responses is so few that we can count them on the fingers of one hand. Various allegedly neutral CFTC commissioners over the last 15 years are on public record speaking at a Silver Users Association meeting. One CFTC chief even stated twice he, quote, looks forward to working with you, the Silver Users. And this is only incompetence, not any conscious plan to injure the free market. All that and much more is due to incompetence, huh? Only a bunch of mental midgets could always turn in an incompetent performance. This is hardly the situation in metals. Evil geniuses they are. And only a bunch of mental midgets or intimidated sources can go about wearing this sandwich board advertisement. There is no conspiracy in metals written large on both sides. When does the predicament become sufficiently dire as to finally necessitate honesty? It takes large-scale planning and coordination on the part of many persons and entities to maintain the silver suppression and in several countries. They are very competent and it is all planned, same as in gold. Now we know this is true, we know that Charles is right and it's shocking to see the number of people in the silver community come out and try to say there's no conspiracy. He talks about Barashev here and we've seen him over the course of time, Jeffrey Christian, people coming out. But we know that there is a conspiracy against silver. It's the oldest running conspiracy and uh, it's going to be the biggest explosion when it's finally exposed, when it finally collapses just as the London Gold Pool eventually collapsed. The, silver conspiracy will eventually collapse. So that's why you see a chart like this in silver whereas the chart in silver should really look more like this chart but again because there are derivatives there's fake silver being sold into the market and this is due to a conspiracy of a large number of players all who have an interest in suppressing the price of silver. That's not the case in Bitcoin because they can't create derivatives for the Bitcoin. Therefore, they can't sell it short. Of course, they would love to because uh, looking at the congressional testimonies and then seeing Bitcoin run $300. Actually, it was a Senate hearing and having Bitcoin run $300 after that hearing. That's a big slap in the face from the free market. We know that eventually the free market in silver is also going to give the money manipulators a big slap in the face. Hopefully, most of you are going to be around to take advantage of it. Uh, hopefully, if you had any bitcoins, you threw them in a wallet and stashed them away. And certainly, hopefully, if you still have your silver, you're stashing it away for the inevitable day when they lose control 
of their manipulation of the silver market and prices explode to the moon even more of an extent than have happened with Bitcoin. And we'll talk to you next time.